Hello! This video demonstrates how you can use object maps with Silk4j, the Silk Test client for Java developers. Object maps enable you to change locators globally instead of editing each individual test. The entries of an object map associate logical names with controls or windows. All references to a control are made by its alias instead of the actual locator name. I have already opened the clips. I will now create a new Silk4j project called Test Object Map. I am going to record a new Silk4j test on Internet Explorer. I will be testing the Borland homepage www.borland.com. I want to create some object map entries, so I will perform some tasks in the sample application. When I am finished, I click Stop Recording in the Recording window. And then I go to the generated script. To open a generated object map, I right click on an object map entry in the script and then I click Open Silk4j Asset. I can edit the entries in the object map. When I duplicate an entry, I get an error. When I write an invalid entry, I also get an error. I can record new object map entries, update locators with a locator spy, and highlight the controls that correspond to the object map items in the AUT. When I record a new test against the same application, the new object map entries are merged into the existing object map. I will again perform some actions. Then stop the recording. And now I can see that the object map includes the new entries. If the object map is large, I can search in it. And this concludes my demonstration. Thank you for watching.